How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media and welcome back to another Premiere Pro Quick Tips where I try and break down a feature in Premiere Pro in a number of minutes. Now today we're going to be having a look at a feature that Premiere Pro have had in there for a while but it's kind of flown under the radar a little bit and I'll tell you why I think it's flown under the radar a little bit later but for now let's just look at it. This is the Scene Edit Detection Tool. So loaded up in the timeline here, I have the final version of my Sure 24 mil anamorphic review, which I did very recently. And as you can see, it's an edited final version. So there are hard cuts in there. Now, if for any reason I wanted to say, add a scene, remove a scene, move a scene, I wouldn't want to have to necessarily go through and cut and splice every single section where there has been a cut already. But instead, what you can do to save yourself that time is to right click, go to scene edit detection. And here you can choose to apply a cut at each detected cue point. You can create a bin of sub clips from each detected cue point. So it'll create a little folder for you here where it puts those sub clips in there. Or if you're not actually looking to cut your clip, you can just apply a marker at each detected cut point instead. Now this third option I think could be quite beneficial if you were sending this over to After Effects, this final edit over to After Effects for some visual effects work. If you're doing that after you've edited, there, there are a number of different workflows for doing visual effects. Some people do it before the color grade, some people do it after grading, some people do it after editing. But however you do it, this is a very handy feature to be able to send over this one clip to After Effects using those markers as kind of waystones for you to know exactly where you are. But I don't wanna do that. I just want to apply a cut at each detected cut point. Hit Analyze, it's gonna analyze the entire clip Depending on how long it is, might take a while. Depending on how big it is, might take a while. Depending on how slow or fast your computer is, might take a while. But to be honest, this is a two minute clip and it's taken, I reckon maybe about 15 seconds. So it's not too bad. And just like that, bam, it's place to cut on every single cut that's in the edit. Nice. Now, I mentioned that I feel like this feature has sort of, sort of flown under the radar. I think the reason is that this is a feature that would have been fantastically helpful back in the days where you digitized tapes. So if you received a tape of B-roll from a shooter, from a videographer, you digitized it and it was saved as one long DV clip, then running this scene detect would be fantastic because you could easily just chop have the software chop for you instead of you having to run through the clip to chop manually. But the problem is that no one really uses DV tapes anymore. No one really sends through B-roll in one long string out anymore. People just send individual clips because I mean storage is cheap enough to be able to do that and it's easy enough saving to memory cards to be able to do that. So. So that's why I think it's kind of flown under the radar. But nonetheless, that process that I talked about where you can send markers to After Effects, I think that makes this a still very valid and useful tool. But let me know in the comments if you think you have any other workflows that you think you could apply this process to and how it would benefit you. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. Hope you enjoyed this Premiere Pro quick tip and give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.